Assuming that you are indeed going to calibrate the mod, that it does not have manufacturer's defaults that seem to be adequate, uh, if it's set at evolve defaults, then I can pretty much assure you it is not going to be adequate. Then um, the first thing we're going to calibrate is the case thermals. The case thermals allows the mod to recognize what the ambient temperature around it is and when it has probably reached ambient temperature. Uh, it primarily knows that when it's charging that it heats up and when it's uh, not charging it's cooling and how long it takes to heat and how much it's going to heat and how long it takes to cool and how much it's going to cool. It also sets the internal board sensor so that uh, if, if the board thinks it's internally calibrated to where it believes it's 73 degrees but the actual ambient temperature is 67 degrees then it will know to subtract 6 degrees off of what it thinks it is to reach what the actual ambient temperature is. So this is kind of, and all of this is to set the ohm resistance to the proper level to do temperature control from or even to do wattage control from. Um, wattage control wouldn't change much on temperature but you need this one set in order to set some other settings so thermal calibration is the first one to do. In order to do the thermal calibration your mod needs to have no more than 50 percent and more like more ideally 25 percent of battery available. It needs to have been discharged to that level my recommendation is to just put a wattage controlled atomizer on there and vape it all day, uh, leaving at 25% or so remaining. Once you've done that all day and you bring it home, uh, the best thing to do is to hook the USB cable to your mod, but do not hook it to your computer. If you hook it to your computer, it will charge and when it charges it warms up. So don't hook it to your computer but go ahead and hook it to your mod and leave it overnight. Um, the the uh, unit going down to ambient temperature is kind of a logarithmic process where it takes a very long time for it to drop the last um, one or two degrees down to an actual ambient temperature. It rapidly cools off when it's at 107, but as it gets right to the ambient temperature, it stays just above it for a long period of time. So leaving it overnight is, is kind of an ideal situation with 25% or so, less than 50% for sure, battery. Um, I've left this mod alone for five hours. It's really close to ambient. I'm gonna go ahead and run the calibration actually again for it. Uh, to do that, or when you wake up in the morning to do this, the first thing you want to do is start the eScribe software. However you do it, I click a button I have on the desktop. It comes up blank. And when you then hook it to your computer, It will read uh, whatever you've named the mod and click on OK. And we're kind of wanting to do this fast so it's not charging up and heating up. We go to Mod, we go to Case Analyzer, we click on OK, and we look at the thermometer that is located fairly close to the mod. And mine is reading 68 degrees. And you click on OK. 
and you can see right here it's charging and that will be driving up the temperature so fairly quickly we want to get to here and we want to click start now the mod will start cooling back off a little bit actually because it it's still going up from when it was charging but it will eventually stop going up and then start going back down a little bit back to the uh, uh, actual closest it's going to get to ambient temperature uh, it is hitting it with 0, 0.00 amps uh, so it should not be charging and it should not be heating if you are seeing anything else then there's a problem and you may not be able to get a good calibration I've had a couple of less expensive mods I'll call them that apparently we're having some leak through issues where it continued to charge at very low rates like at 0.005 that wasn't enough to ever charge the unit but it was enough to heat it up very slightly and you can see that little bit of time that I had it uh, plugged in it jumped up from 72 to 73 point something and it's slowly working its way back down within 30 minutes this timer will go off in 30 minutes it needs to reach back down to the uh, closest it's going to get to ambient temperature. Um, the other thing that I will tell you is there is a certain brand from China that when they first came out they were the only brand of DNA 200s that had um, 2 amp charging. Those particular mods you cannot calibrate because eScribe does not understand that they are being charged with uh, the, a daughter board that allows the 2 amp charging uh, you're going to have to rely on whatever they put in as the uh, thermal stuff because it's constantly heating using a 2 amp charge while it thinks it's not and it will throw off the temperature and be completely wrong Assuming you don't have one of those particular Chinese units with a 2 amp charge, uh, you sh should be seeing this 0, 0.00. This is now going to spend the next 30 minutes trying to get this temperature back, and it's gone down to 72.98. This isn't off much because I left it for so long. Uh, if you hadn't left it that long, it may be doing a lot of dropping in temperature but it needs to reach ambient temperature within the 30 minutes so I'm gonna let it go for the 30 minutes alright so it's basically finished uh, waiting for the uh, temperature to steady it's steadied at 73.02 degrees and at this point it starts charging and it charges for uh, a fair length of time and a 30 minute charge and determines how much heat charging does to the unit and it uh, determines on a per amp basis how much charging does on the unit so it now waits 30 minutes while it's charging to see how much the temperature has gone up. It's already gone up a degree, uh, 74.151A20. Uh, it'll eventually steady out, uh, if not in 30 minutes, then in over 30 minutes, to uh, some heated temperature. Uh, it will then cut off the, the charging and see how quickly it cools. Uh, all of this needs to be done at the same ambient temperature. If your ambient temperature is moving around, this will end up with an incorrect result. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it go for its 28.7. It says right there, 28.7 minutes remaining, uh, and we'll get back when this finishes. It's now uh, finished charging and it went from 73 degrees to 81.4 something degrees over the course of the 30 minutes that it charged and that gave it a time constant that it reports up here of uh, 307.75 now that is in comparison to the default of 150 uh, 
this is kind of a typical number. It went from 72.98, uh, it says, uh, at the start to uh, 81.45, again, in 30 minutes. It gave it a time charge, or a time constant, and now it is going to recool and see how long, how much cooling it does over the course of 30 minutes, and that will give it a time constant. Uh, my thermometer still reads 68 degrees. It has not changed in the, uh, the ambient temperature. It has not changed. If yours does, it will throw this calculation off. So I'm going to let it go for 30 minutes and see how much it cools. It's just about to finish cooling. It's got uh, 12 seconds left. It's gotten back down from the 81.45 to 73.9. Uh, five. It's still above, uh, over a degree higher. Oh, there it goes. And now it's charging again. Um, it was over a degree higher still after 30 minutes of cooling, so that's why I say you don't want it to be charging before you do this. Uh, but it cooled from the 81.45 back to 73.91 degrees, and the time constant was a 283. Um, uh, seconds. So now it's going to charge again to verify that uh, it knows what it's doing and it's going to go for uh, just five minutes now. So I'll let that go. The five minutes are um, almost up. It's got just over 12 seconds, 12 seconds left. It has uh, it's been charging. It has increased temperature back from the 73.91 to 78 degrees and it goes to zero. Now it's cooling again. It's going to do a five minute cooling thing. It heated from 73 to 78 degrees in five minutes and now it's going to do five minutes of cooling. I'll let that go and I believe at that point we'll be done. All right, about 12 seconds left, a little over 12 seconds. It had heated up to 78.93 degrees in the five minute heating period and it's got six seconds left and it's going to find that it cooled back down to 75 point something pops up there uh, it, it cooled to 75.2 it uh, pops up with the analysis complete the time constants for the uh, cooling and for the heating were calculated the time constants uh, are the usb delta t um, basically the the unit was always reading five degrees off and it would uh, change by 31.42 degrees Fahrenheit uh, per amp of charge that it was accepting. So with those calculations done and the answers done, you click accept and it fills out this section, the thermal section of the dialog box and you need to upload those settings to the device. Your device now is calibrated as far as thermals are going and that will help it know when to refine as you as uh, evolve calls it uh, downward or change the ohms and be a, a much steadier throughout the day uh, when it's in a hot car it will recognize that and set the you know it understands what the ambient temperature is based on board temperature and when it's charging or not. So with that done, the next step will be in the next video.